Welcome or welcome back from C Square. In this video clip, we're gonna take a look to some vocabulary and logic theory and some true tables. Okay. So, a bit of history if you wanna hurry here. That's logic statement of a bit long, long time ago. And you may be familiar with statements like this. Now I want to highlight some important words, which you see them here. They make a difference in any statement, right? Now, a simple statement is a sentence that can be true or false. So we have here two examples. Miami is in Florida, this is a true statement, a triangle is a polygon foresight, that is false, right? So yeah, sometimes a statement is true, sometimes it's false. Most of the time in logic theory, you're going to have compound statements. Yeah, that means more than one statement. And you're going to see they are connected to some type of symbols. Also, you're going to have things that we call quantifier. You see them here. All students are in class. The negation will be some students are not in class. Some students are in class. The negation is none of the none of students are in class. I'm not in class. We have another example here. Some cars are electric. All cars have four doors. This is negation. No cars are electric cars. Some cars do not have four doors. And uh, as I said before, most of the time you're going to deal with letters like this, P, right? This, Michael is a soccer player, that would be statement P. Hey, when you negate that, if Michael is not, we're going to use this side, not P. You're going to see end statements, how we call them, conjunction. You clean your room and do your homework. Right, you see here, clean your room and do your homework. This upside down V means end. Or statements, disjunction. Go to movie or watch TV. This is the regular V. Now you can see more type of uh, compound statements that we have parentheses. Yeah, that, that means these two guys are grouped together, these two guys are grouped together. And in English, the difference is made by the position of the comma. You can get a hamburger and fries and a, or a drink. So you can get a hamburger and one of the choice, the fries or drink. So you can leave the store of hamburger and fries or hamburgers and a drink. The second statement, you can get a hamburger and fries or a drink. So you can leave the store of hamburger and fries, right? Or you can leave the store of just with a drink. Okay. As you notice already, this is a negation of a symbol. This is a, a of a statement. This is a compound statement. So, and this is the way we negate. It's not true that I like soccer or basketball, or it is false that I like soccer and basketball. And you see, again, we use this when I'm using parentheses. And as I mentioned at the beginning, we have this type of statements of if and then. Then can be omitted. If you go to class, then you pass the class, plus the final exam. This is that conditional statement. In symbols. Now, like I said, you know, sometimes you may not see the then. It still makes sense. By conditional, those are very interesting statements. We don't really use them that often in English. In math, yes. If and only if. This is the shortcut. Sometimes you're going to see it. And you see a statement here. You can play some with it if and only if you train this week. This is the symbol. Now, let, let's be sure we know what it means. Means you can play Saturday if you, you train this week, and also vice versa. If you train this week, you're gonna play Saturday both ways, and that's the reason we use this symbol. <coughs> true table, true table are a way to determine the true value of a compound statement, and we have some basic true table. By now, you'll notice the 
uh, we talk about p and non-p. Eh? Very important. If p is true, non-p is false, and vice versa. When p is false, non-p is true. Now, sometimes you're going to have more than one statement. In this case, we have two statements, p and q. Uh, these are all possible choices, right? Four possible choices for this uh, compound statement. Sometimes you might have three statements, p, q, and r. These are all possible choices, eight possible choices for each statement, and you see all the possible combination here. We mentioned this uh, conjunction, right? Conjunction, and this is the truth table that goes through this guy, and here is f. Okay, so the only one that is true is when both statements are true. This one. The other three are false. Now, the next table is the junction, which is also easy to remember if you think about this last row. So this is lower. When both are false, then the disjunction is false. The other are true. <coughs> so let's see how we construct a truth table. P, Q. And again, if you remember, we have true, true, false, false. These choices. True, false, true, false. So now we have all the possible choices for this combination of P and Q. And the first thing I'm going to do here is non-P. So that means I'm going to negate this column. I'm going to negate this column. So that true becomes false. The first, the first one. The second true becomes false. The false becomes true. And the false becomes true. Okay. And now we can move and do non-p and q, okay? So if you need the table, don't forget this is false here, okay? It's right here. Remember, it's true only when both statements are true. So let's take a look here. Uh, so here we're going to look to this column, all right? Non-p and q, okay? So we see it. this is the only time when both are true, this is the only time when this is true. True, false, 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 and false, true, false. So that is pretty much this true table. Again, my suggestion is to do the extra column. It's easier to go to the final answer. Right, let's do this one. Again, we're going to start with P and Q. We're going to put all the possible choices. True, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Okay? And we're going to start always with the stuff inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to do the non-Q first. Non-Q. So non-Q becomes false, right? Because I'm looking to this column. True, false. True. So we negate the second column. Now the next thing I'm going to put P or non-Q. And if you remember this table, right, is the table where the only time where it's false is both are false. So we can do that if you want. We're looking here, P and non-Q. False, false here. That's the only time when it's false. True and true, true, right? True and true, true, true and false. True and false and true, true. Okay? And what else are we going to do now? Now we're going to do our final statement, which is this column. We reverse it, we negate, right? This is true becomes false. This true becomes false. This false becomes true. This true becomes false. And that's the final answer for this problem. And the last one in this video clip will be this uh, type of statement. We see we have P, Q, and R. 
we need to have PQNR. And we should have all the choices, right? True, 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 false, 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 true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. So if you follow this pattern, you don't miss any of the possible choices for this three statement. So now again, we're going to start with these parentheses. That's the first thing we're going to look. Q or R, right? This is the table. The only one that is false is when both are false. So let's see if we find Q and R. That means we're going to look to these two columns. And we're looking for false, false. This is false right here, right? These two are false. Then we keep up one more. False, false, false. The rest of them are, are going to be true. Okay. And the very next column, we're going to do what? We're going to negate this column. So let me change the color of this. We're going to negate this because we have here non Q or R. So that all that common, we're going to switch it false because this was true, false because this was true, false here, true here because this was false, false, false because this was false, false, and the last one true. And now we need to finish our uh, problem which says P and all this stuff we discussed before. So we're going to look to what column now? We're going to look to this column, right, which is the last part of the statement, this one. And we're going to look to the P column. And this one is the end, right? This one. Which is true only when both are true. So we can look like that in these two columns and uh, see where we get both true. Mm. Here, right? So this is true, this is true, so this will be true here. Uh, false, 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 true. So that's that's the only one. So the other are going to be false. True and false, this first one, that will be false, right? Uh, true and false. True and false. False, false and true. False. This is the true and true we discuss. False. 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 And false. False. False and false again. False. False and false. It's false. False and true is going to be false. <coughs> and that's pretty much it about this. Uh, compost element. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more math. Thank you.